you've determined LinkedIn is the channel. That's where you need to be. But how do you get posts that grab people's attention? In this video, I'm gonna show you. Writing posts for LinkedIn follows a very simple formula. The first thing you have to realize is that LinkedIn posts need not be very long to be engaging. You wanna have one thought or one sentence per line, and each line should have a maximum of 15 words. It needs to be easy to read. These thoughts, sentences, or groupings of 15 or fewer words are intended to be blocks so that each Block is another thought, and it makes it very easy for the reader to follow what you're trying to convey to them. Everything you write in LinkedIn should be written in first person. Use I and we. First person makes it feel much more personal, and the reader tends to engage more when you write in that manner. Begin with a statistic, a fact, or a quote, or some sort of leading question. The idea is to get the person curious. A leading question, sometimes they already have the answer to it and they want to know more. A statistic or a fact, sometimes they want to know where you came to it. A quote, they may or may not agree with it. So beginning with a statistic, a fact, quote, or a leading question is how you start off that very first line. And in that case, I encourage you to keep that line really short, even fewer than 15 words. Try to get it to fit on one single line and not wrap around. Line three is the cliffhanger. The first line, that's the statistic, fact, quote, or leading question. Then you have a blank line. Line three is the one where you want to get them to be caught up in what you're saying such that they're going to click on click more. The way LinkedIn works is the first three lines are visible and at the right of that third line, you'll see click more. When a person clicks on that, that registers engagement. It also tells LinkedIn's algorithms to show this more frequently. So you want to write in such a way that that third line ends partially through a thought or ends in a cliffhanger, ends where the person really wants to see what happens next, and they click on click more. Keep the post short. You don't want the person to click more and see a wall of text. You want to get your thoughts clear and make them easy to follow, and that typically needs to be a very short post. Embed an image, a video, or a link to a post you control. Don't link to some third party. When you're publishing something on LinkedIn, you wanna take them to something you control, or typically your own website, or some content on your own website. In my own posts, I typically take people to videos on my own website. That way we have full control of what got them there and where they're going. End with the message of the narrative and a call to action. So you have a goal when you're communicating something in LinkedIn, and you're writing this short narrative to reach that goal, to communicate something. You wanna end with the final message, and you wanna have a call to action. You want the person reading to do something. Usually it's clicking to go somewhere else, but make it very clear that at the end of that post in LinkedIn, you end with the final message, the point of the narrative, and you give them a call to action. You give them something to do. On the screen is an example of a post that I recently published. It's a video I created about being a better presenter online. I want those on LinkedIn that see this to click and go watch my video. That's the goal. Well, how do I get them to do that? I'm opening up with a leading question. How can you become a better presenter? Now I could make that a little bit more elaborate or I could have used a statistic there about present presentations online and engagement online but I just chose to make it real simple with a question. And then you see the second line is blank, and the third line is my cliffhanger. Use this checklist for your next live talk and learn how to master online, and it just kind of ends there abruptly because it's wrapping. I'm going to click see more. And then it takes you to the rest of the post to master online presentations. I have another blank line, I have another thought. I gathered some insightful tips on how to engage online audiences on my latest video. And you can go watch it right here, and I have a link to it. This is a very short post with a very simple goal. I want the people to click the link, to watch the video, to learn how to be a better presenter online. And when you create your LinkedIn posts, think this way. Capture their attention. On the third line, have a cliffhanger. 
add a little bit more content, end with the purpose and with the call to action and keep it short and to the point and make it easy. I make videos like this all the time. Sometimes they're on business and marketing, other times they're on personal development. If you do things differently in your LinkedIn posts, I'd love to hear about it. Put that in the comments below. If you'd like that video, I'd appreciate, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a like. Appreciate your time today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.